What's going on? I want to do a video about the new Guitar Hero that just got announced today. So the game is called Guitar Hero Live. It will be coming out for the PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, it's going to be released this fall sometime. And let's talk about the details that got revealed. So the guitar you see behind me is the guitar that's going to be released for the game. It doesn't appear that it's a licensed guitar, so it's not like a Gibson guitar or a Fender like we've seen in the past. Uh, the, they're actually changing up the format. So there's going to be six buttons. There's going to be two rows of three buttons on each row. So on the top row you'll see three buttons, and then on the bottom row you'll see three buttons. And I think the reason for this is because the game's going to simulate... Uh, you know, the player playing different chord shapes and they're going to use different combinations to basically uh, to show the actual notes for each song's chart. Uh, there actually have been some songs that have been revealed about uh, re they'll be in the game. So one of them, if you watch the trailer, was Gold on the Ceiling by the Black Keys. Other bands that have been confirmed include Fall Out Boy, Green Day, who I guess doesn't have an exclusive license with Harmonix anymore, Skrillex, The War on Drugs, Rolling Stones, Lumineers, Pierce the Veil, Blitz the Kids, Gary Clark Jr., and The Killers. And it, it seems like uh, the guys who were developing the game is Freestyle Games. Uh, they made DJ Heroes, and they're trying to go for a pretty eclectic uh, you know, group of songs here for this game. It's going to be, I guess, a lot less focused than we've seen in past Guitar Hero games, which have typically been pretty hard rock sounding. Uh, the other thing that you'll note in the trailer is that there's going to be live crowds. Uh, there's going to be uh, different venues, so Glastonbury, I think, is going to be a real venue you can play at. There's going to be clubs, and everything is going to be in first person as well. So you're going to be seeing, each song starts with like the player behind the stage getting pumped up for the concert, and you'll see different roadies talking to you and your bandmates, and basically you getting out on that stage and playing uh, in front of all those people. If you play really badly, they'll start booing you and that sort of stuff. The other interesting thing is that the game, Sonic, like the, son, the, the sound changes as you move on stage, so if your player moves closer to the drum kit, the drums will get louder, or if you sing, move closer to the singer, the vocals will get louder too. I think they can just do that using the stems that they get uh, for each song. I think uh, the other thing you guys are going to notice is that uh, apparently the game's going to be guitar only. It's not going to be the full band experience with the drums and I guess the microphone as well. And I guess they're going back to the roots of Guitar Hero. Uh, the other thing that seemed to come up too is that Harm uh, Activision hasn't really said whether your old DLC will work and whether your old instruments were, would work, will work. So I guess the rumors tend to be that your old DLC you bought probably won't work because they're basically using a brand new guitar peripheral and they would have to rechart all those old songs to somehow interact with the new guitar. And I think the same is going to be for your old guitars, which is really something that Harmonix has been really consistent about, about allowing all your old DLC to transfer over, and they're doing their best to actually uh, allow you to use your old peripherals as well. Um, the other thing that was announced is that there's something called Guitar Hero TV. Now, Guitar Hero TV is basically a playable music network that allow players to basically drop in and drop out of different themed channels. And so far, the bands that have been reported for those channels uh, according to IGN, is Ed Sheeran and Monsters and Men, American Authors, and Gary Clark Jr. Uh, the other thing I noticed, too, is that the crowd sings along. This is a feature we saw in Rock Band 1 and 2, where the crowd would sing along with you if you're like playing really well. I think this is something we'll probably see in the new Guitar Hero. But that basically does it for everything that we've heard today about Guitar Hero Live. I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are. I'm a little interested, but I'm also leaning more towards Rock Band 4. Um, I was thinking that Activision would do something more along the lines of maybe Rocksmith, but you know my prediction yesterday said that the game's visuals would be more realistic and the gameplay necessarily wouldn't be. So I guess I was sort of right in that. But I'd like to know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the, in the description in the comment section below. And if you guys want to stay up to date on all things Rock Band and Guitar Hero, including the Rock Band Customs community, click the subscribe button. And all, you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can just click the description and see all the information uh, down below. Thanks, guys. Take care.